So we have to take a look at CCIV again, and it's looking especially good today, as we are up more than 38% from the first pullbacks again, currently sitting at almost $24. Those pullbacks happened after spiking about 435% after going public in January and brought the stock peaking at prices of about $65 down to regions, we are now seeing first signs of a potential strong recovery of. So what we are going to do today is give you an insight into what is happening to CCIV's stock and break down exactly whether it is still a buy at the end. And as the analysis in the video is absolutely crucial to consider before buying the stock, make sure to stay tuned. But before we jump right in, just hit that subscribe button down below. And as we'll keep you updated on breaking news and awesome trading opportunities every single day, subscribing would not only help us but also you. So there is really no excuse for not smashing the subscribe button, it's free, and you can always unsubscribe if you feel so. Alright, so in order to figure out whether CCIV is a stock to buy at the end of this video, we, as always, first have to quickly break down the company's business and fundamentals again. In the case of CCIV, we're looking at a company whose pretty much only reason for being so interesting is that it brought Lucid Motors public through a special purpose acquisition company, or SPAC. And as mentioned before, with Lucid Motors being another electric vehicle company, the hype around the stock can easily be explained with the general hype around the EV space. What made the stock go up so much in the first place, however, is the optimism of investors that the company can actually compete against giants like Tesla in the very competitive business. And this is not as unlikely as it might seem, especially as the two companies are targeting two different types of customers. While Lucid is starting on the high end with its Lucid Air Dream Edition, which will have a price of $169,000, Tesla focuses more on the broader cheaper car sector. This then leads to fewer conflict between the companies and of course a higher chance of Lucid Motors succeeding. But, and this is crucial to consider for our prediction at the end, an equal success as competitors doesn't necessarily have to happen due to a few reasons. First, Tesla had a huge advantage when it launched, there was no Tesla before. In fact, there was little competition of any kind. The few electric vehicle models from major manufacturers, like the Nissan Leaf or the General Motors Bolt, generally targeted the lower end of the market. Lucid now has to deal with a competitor that is going to deliver in the range of 800,000 vehicles this year. Meanwhile, other huge manufacturers are going big into EVs. So concerns over whether it can beat out incumbents like Tesla and dominate the luxury EV market remain on the table. But what is even more important, before we can come to a prediction at the end, is a potential partnership with Apple itself. It's no secret that Apple is fascinated by the potential in the automobile market. Apple became the world's most valuable consumer products company with the iPhone. Not surprisingly, however, that's been a tough act to follow. What could it launch that would come close to matching the iPhone in terms of either innovation or commercial success? With that in mind, a leading electric vehicle would be one of the few things that could still move the needle for Apple at this point. Apple is set to invest hundreds of billions of dollars in capital expenditures and research and development in coming years. With a good chunk of that going to vehicles, Apple could turn into a major player. To that end, there have been tons of rumors about Apple and Lucid potentially working together on a vehicle in the future. So far, Lucid's management has denied any material talks between the two firms. However, traders remain optimistic that Lucid has some partnerships in the works. So to sum it all up, Lucid Motors has huge potential. Buying right now however is very risky, which is why we recommend waiting for the first actual cars to be delivered and the following either negative or positive news before buying or adding more stocks. Alright, with that being it for today's video, thank you very much for watching. If you like this video and want to support our mission of providing free financial information to everyone here on YouTube, please ensure you're subscribed and definitely consider leaving a like. As mentioned before, it really means the world to us. Thanks a lot and see you next time.